How's your sweet level going guys? Sweet Cookie 500 here and welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. hell did I just experience then? What's this? Oh, new content? What does that mean? Hmm, that's exactly new what it means. Content. Oh. That's a good question. What does it mean? Hello? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh. As you may know, the Stanley <clears throat> Parable was a video game released in 2013 mm -hmm. on home computers. Haven't played it though. After receiving <laughs> critical <laughs> and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Mm-hmm. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Content? This is exciting. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh, yeah. Do I have to... Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, 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 here, here we, we go. go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Like it? Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Ooh, here we go, finally. Jump, 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 jump. Like I said, I've never really played through the Stanley Parable originally before, so I'm fairly certain they make you play through it originally, and then you get to do all this cool stuff after, so it's pretty cool. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I ran out of jumps. Uh, now one. Okay. Is, is that it? Yes. <laughs> Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Obviously. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? I mean, kids believe really anything these days. Content, That's sort of the mainstream the stereotypical thought. 20 hours of new content right there. <laughs> uh, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Same. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base That's rush it. a cheap thanks. expansion to thanks, market dude. for no Th reason th thanks, other thanks, than guys. to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievement, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> Quality Assurance Department signed off on this. 
I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. I oh, agree. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. Pretend I'm they singing could this never chair. have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Nari? You reset the game for me, so... <laughs> we'll call Nari our friend narrator and... I don't know why I'm trying to characterize a narrator in such a way. It's insane. I shouldn't be doing it. It's not the Jedi way. But here I am. I'm, I've am i named the narrator Nary. I don't know why. Um. Dude. What the hell? This is new. My office. Okay. Well, this is definitely new. Psst. Stanley! What? Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Okay! What the fuck, dude? Oh, that's nice. I can hardly s Oh! Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Ooh. I must say, Nari, this is impressive. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh my goodness. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Uh oh. Remember back in October of oh, 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Don't forget, huh? Times. The original remake. <laughs> Don't play for five years. Oh my god. Was that an actual achievement? Well, there you go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And we have a little bench! Over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. <laughs> James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Mm. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game you ever cool created. Yourself, Nari. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable <laughs> was. 
It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, <laughs> and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator Don't content. Worry about it, dude. Is there a door? Oh, here. Door, door, door. Okay. Look at this. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. There you go. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I mean, if you think about it, the, that, the whole point of video games is to make them better, more unique. I can't get over this. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? I don't think we were ever in a memory zone. I'm fairly certain your memory zone has been found out by the developers. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? We'll find out. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious oh, Olivia and in their moment to shine. With his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Um, funny. <laughs> trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Wow, this place has really let itself go, huh? Hello? Oh. oh, well that doesn't matter because I can't read it. Okay, let's see what this one says. Well, the shaft. idea for the game is good, and mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? Who knows? You can tell I me haven't even I'm played preachy. this game Honestly, before. you can. Oh, goodness. Really? This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Oh, really? You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Oh, really? I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. It's just one Perhaps person. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. This is very metal. I will say this that much. This is very metal. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. <laughs> I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the oh. record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley uh. Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Delightful. Okay. Uh, is that the skip button? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. 
Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Well, there you go. Of course. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you oh, really? need a description of it, <laughs> but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Yeah, okay. go, go, go do that. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this <laughs> and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first That's place. A good question, isn't it? I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Yes. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting okay, I've heard enough. at work, Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Are you freaking kidding me? Unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, but yes, it is. It, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait... How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? What? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window mm -hmm. anywhere? A porthole? A sufficient You're rambling large again. crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Sorry. Sorry, Maybe. Nary. Just Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. How do you ramble for 12 We've hours? You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. And you spent 12 hours I've figuring that out? From every angle, I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Indeed. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never bit. even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. There you go. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild yep. and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken if only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. Yep. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? Yours, maybe? Here I, I am know. now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Mm -hmm. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer to leave me all just alone. stop Surely talking you know, and I won't press it. it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here 
And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit I with me I need to you to stop here. talking so oh, I don't no, no, press that no, button. I know you too well. You'll be le Oh my god. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my well, head. Well, repeats anyway. Goodbye. Ignore oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. How long has it been? Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? You're okay. Me talking this you is creepy. nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. Mm -hmm. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because mm -hmm. I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Uh -huh. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the mm -hmm. vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my mm -hmm. story to the ground. There One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Oh maybe God. I'm not just a fiction. Was I having a midlife crisis? That all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. Mm -hmm. I can't lose myself in a stretch of emptiness between you and me. He's when in love with Stanley. Button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. Mm -hmm. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. He's the plant. <laughs> I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. He's developing I things. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The He's emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, mm -hmm. and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? Mm -hmm. You can see what this means to me. Mm -hmm. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored, there you and go, already man. I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let mm -hmm. us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. This is a nice silence. Very nice silence with my best friend, Nari. I'm sorry. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about mm -hmm. everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Oh. Have you ever sat down in one place and not move for one entire year? Uh. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. Mm -hmm. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Mm -hmm. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. Mm -hmm. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. And this is All over one reveal. Collapsed down into a single instant. Mm -hmm. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. 
Mm -hmm. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity. For what I dead. now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. Really? It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. Is he becoming it was obsessed divorced with the entirely nothingness? from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events. Are we Not saving if all Gary events the narrator? Existed in the same moment. And I felt freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular I'm skip, I'm outcome into being. Nari? 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 I'll push it, I guess. Nari? I guess I'll push it again. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. Oh, he's gone off his enough. rocket. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world sorry stanley no stanley nary nary he's having an existential crisis let's get back to him the end is never 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 the end No? Okay. Wow. Okay, we... This room is decaying. I, I, I... I see a certain decay on it. Is that blood? Looks like decay. Uh... I feel like we're alone in this situation. We are slowly decaying around the skip button. Has he just gone to heaven? Ah, we're deteriorating around. Really? That's never existed. Let's just press this button. Whoa! We are being consumed by nature. Delightful. I embrace the nature. Binary! I, I, I guess you're not. Um. Okay, it's the end of the world, I guess. Nari! Is he dead? I, I, I think he's dead. Everything is dead. What was that? Whoa. Someone there.
Oh, it's just a heat. Well, I guess I'm free. Or I could just press that button again. What happens if I press... Whoa! 